What's going on everybody, this is me Alex, and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Canon FD 50mm f1.8 lens, so let's go right ahead and get started. Best. I finally found a way how to get cheap lenses at a really cheap price, but still deliver amazing quality, possibly even better than the old ones. Now, if you notice by the little bumper, I did just pick that I one up for $35 on eBay. Yes, free shipping. It was in actually in San Jose, so relatively close to me. Got here within the next day. And this is really cool lens. Now, for those professional photographers, because if you notice right here, I'm controlling the aperture ring, which, yes, it is manual aperture so you have to do kind of get these settings correct now in my opinion I found out that this lens works best at aperture f4 or or greater and starts to really shine out at f5.6 with a shutter speed of 1 100 second now the future test shots I'm going to show you guys in about 10 seconds are going to be at all the same setting of 1 100 of a shutter speed as well as <clears throat> as well as the uh, f1.8 aperture now these are all f1.8 if we take a closer look right there f1.8 at a shutter speed of 1 100th in manual mode now i shot all these shots in manual mode if you notice this shot does tend to get a little dreamy looking towards the shot itself but once you get the aperture under control it should be all fine and the shutter speed really does matter you can shoot between 1 100th but please do not get low of any 1 1 60th of a shutter speed because that will tend to fade the image away and produce a more creamy or or more dreamy look to the image itself so it won't really give you the clearest and sharpest image but if you notice if you get these settings and the lighting correct you should get a really nice image in including with a very nice macro since considered this is a macro lens <clears throat> Now you can pick these up fairly cheap on eBay for 20 bucks, including shipping. Uh, I would not recommend paying any more than $60 for one of these lenses, even though they are well hand built and in Japan, where Canon originally existed from. This is a very, very fine lens. I did have this lens for about two weeks, and I have been using it since then. I really do like this lens. Doing some test shots, I shot this whole video using the Canon zoom lens, 18 to 55 millimeter lens. I bought this lens because my 5D Mark III, <clears throat> I was shooting with that one, but today I should chose to shoot with my Canon T3 uh, this is a voiceover it's not the stock mic but I do really like the images with the nice bokeh in the background it does tend to produce circular bokeh which is uh, my favorite kind if you notice right there there's my new tripod I just got that tripod today I'm really excited it's my first video with it and I did know I did promise you guys that this was not gonna be our last video but since I decided to get my tripod and I looked up on my channel that did not get this video out to you guys which I wanted to get this video out for you guys it turns out that I'm just decided to do it really quickly I shot this all outside if you notice on this image, this does start to produce some black vignetting around the edges, but that can be prevented with a lens hood that you can purchase an optional blur, but they are quite expensive since, these, since they are the original Canon 52mm lens hood. You can just get those off of eBay for like 3-4 bucks and from Hong Kong. They do take a while to get here, but it's definitely recommended if you want to reduce that black vignetting you see around the edges of the image, just like you get. And I just definitely recommend that you get one with the tulip uh, lid because that does actually is made for reducing vignetting around the edges. As you see, these are all at f1.8. <clears throat> I do not want to change the settings around because it would be too hard to toggle with the metadata. But it's a very, very fine lens. I do really recommend this lens for those beginners who just want to have a nice, easy to shoot lens with. I do like to shoot with this one myself. It does have 50 millimeter aperture and a focal point of 1.8. But there is my dog right there again at 1 of 100 shutter speed as well as f1.8. In the 3 seconds, I'm going to go bring you some movies in 3, 2, 1. Right now, it's going to be a test shot with this lens. Now, this lens does not feature image stabilization, so that is a downside because some of the shots will be pretty rough in this future shots. But if you have a tripod, a fluid head in my case, it should be all right. If you don't have a fluid head, it could be a little rough for video. That's why they always recommend video for fluid head. Even with image stabilization, it could get a little rough sometimes. Depending on the conditions that you're shooting, if it's a windy condition, you will get a lot of wind distortion. But it is a very nice, uh, smooth breeze while I'm recording outside here. But you can tell by the crisp, fine detail of the f1.8. These are both cores running in 1.8 as well. And there's the lens tap. As you see, I'm shooting about two feet away from the camera right now. Uh, so it does have a pretty minimal focal length, but it is a 50 millimeter lens i really do love this lens and we're gonna go and take a closer look at the adapter how to remove the adapter so as you notice right here you do have to have an adapter to operate this lens it's the eos to or the uh, fd to eos adapter eos that is originated now in modern Canon cameras, but if you take a closer look, it's very easy to undo. All you do is just opposite slide the silver ring and the adapter just falls. 
once the adapter comes right off, you're going to be realized that it is mirrored. Now, if you own a Canon 5D Mark III, uh, like me, you would want to purchase a mirrorless adapter. But since I am recording right now with my Canon T3, which is a Micro Four Thirds adapter, this is going to be a little different and it will require a mirrored image, which will reduce the crop factor to more of like 100 millimeters instead of 50 millimeters. But if you have a, a f mirrorless, which is the 5D Mark III, the 70D, not the 70D, but the 5D Mark III, 5D Mark II, you will require a mirrorless adapter and more require more like what 60% or 60 millimeters. To put the adapter back in, it's pretty much the opposite process. All you do is just align it with the EOS adapter sticking out and the FD going in. All you do is just swipe it on there and then you're going to realize it's going to lock in place. Then you twist the silver ring to the back and you push the adapter forward. You should hear sort of a click and then the adapters should go right in. If you notice, you can take the EOS uh, Canon lens, uh, lens hood in the back and just put that on the lens cap on the back and it should fit perfectly. So that's my review of the Canon 50mm f1.8. There's a lot of cool images. I definitely recommend you check this out. You can find great deals today on eBay, Amazon, all those other websites. But that's it for today guys. Until next time, which will be in approximately 3 weeks. If you guys enjoyed that review, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the latest and greatest tech here on HD Alex Films.